Hello folks, today is March 22nd, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be continuing <coughs> um, with our 7th grade module 2. This is going to be lesson 10, where, as I mentioned before, in the past we've worked on um, things like addition and subtraction when it came to using negative numbers. Now we're going to work on our next operation. We're not going to do the whole lesson in this video. We're only actually going to do that first little section. But in order for us to do that first section, I'm actually swapping up the order a little bit. We're actually going to do parts C and D first, and then we'll do parts A and B. Because I think it's honestly a little bit easier for us to do parts C and D first, and hopefully you'll be able to see why. So, for this whole part, we are going to be basing it all off of our integer game again. Now it's been a while <coughs> since we've played the integer game, or looked at the integer game as a thing, but if we remember, you draw a certain number of cards, and then you have to find out, well, what is your total. In this case, we're going to be looking at cards that also have stars on them. In this case, if I were to have a card that was like 5, and then negative 2, and then let's say yeah, 3, and the star card was 4. And there was a rule that said, hey, the star card here is going to count as 5 cards, so you're going to have 5 of that card 4. So I'd have my 5, my negative 2, my 3, and then I have my 4 card, but I'd have it 5 times. Right after it says, hey, write a product that describes the 5 matching cards. Well, looking at this, it's honestly pretty obvious. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards that have 4, so it would be... 5 times 4. Because I have 5 cards and they're all 4. Write an expression that reflects how each of the star cards changes my score. Well, remember, my positive numbers mean I need to add that much to my score. So it's going to be 4 plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. And, well, wait a minute. This should make sense for us. Because hopefully we can remember back that multiplication is just repeated addition. Multiplication is just going to be repeated addition. So that 5 times 4 that we have is just equal, no, 5 times 4, is just equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. It's repeated addition. We're repeating that addition again and again and again and again. So what is that total change? Well, what is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4? Well, that's going to be 20. And 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Now, I'm sure you can see why I wanted to part C and D first, because they're dealing with our actual they're actually dealing with our positive numbers here. So, seeing this dealing with positive numbers, it makes sense. We already know how multiplication works when it comes to our positive numbers. 
it's just repeated addition. <laughs> now, what about multiplication when I'm using a negative number, however? Will that change at all? For parts A and B, we also have a selection of cards. Over here, we're going to have a card that's going to be negative 2, 1, and we've got negative 5, and 6. So, a star card, this time I rule is any card that has a star, well, that's going to be, you're going to need to have that card 3 times, as you can see by the three cards down here. So note, most of our cards stay the same, negative 2, 1, and 6. Negative 5 counts as three cards that are negative 5. Now, when we had four cards, no, five cards that had four, it was 5 times 4. This time we have three cards that have a negative 5 on it. So we're going to follow that same pattern of three cards times the value on that card of negative 5. 3 times negative 5. Now, if I were to write an expression that represents how each of these star cards changes our score, remember, if I have a negative card, I am still adding that number. It just so happens to be that that means I'm going to the left as opposed to to the right, like a positive number would do. So putting these three cards in changes my score with a negative 5 plus another negative 5 plus another negative 5. And wait, this should make sense to us. Before... I had 5 times 4, and then I had 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. I had 5 fours. Over here, I have 3 times negative 5. And I have negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. That's 3 negative 5. So it's still going to be repeated addition when our first number here is going to be a positive number. It's still just going to be repeated addition. So what is negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5? Well, that's negative 15. So that means that 3 times negative 5 gives us negative 15. 15. Now we go back down to K and I. Use that expression that we had over here, 5 times 4, to relate the multiplication of a positive valued card to addition. This is honestly something that we've already talked about. Multiplying a positive number is repeated addition of that positive integer. 5 times 4 is repeated addition of 4 5 times. Similar to that, multiplying a negative number is repeated addition of that negative integer. So when we had 3 times negative 5, it was negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. It was just repeated addition, but instead of the positive integer that we're used to with multiplication, it was just repeated addition of a negative number. 
with that, that's honestly it for this video. I have a worksheet that I'm going to give to you guys. It's not included in the lesson itself. So just rem just know that it's a completely separate worksheet. So don't go looking on that. Um, don't be looking on the lesson for the, the questions that you guys are supposed to be working on. It's its own separate document. But with that, I hope you guys all have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow. Farewell.